Martin, thanks very much for joining us and welcome back to Montrose, first of all. Uh, how do you feel about being back at Lynx Park? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, it's not been long since I've been away, to be fair. I was only away since January, so and a lot of the time I was actually spent at home during the virus. We had to go home. Like I came back and stayed at my mum's for the time of lockdown, like in March time. So, But... It felt a bit weird coming back. Uh, it was such a quick turnaround over the weekend. Um, and then I was in training on Monday night. And just to be around the boys, it was really good to be back. A bit weird, but it was good. It was definitely, I felt that I'd made the right decision when I came back and started training. And obviously, uh, as you say, you joined on transfer deadline day and we got to see you coming off the bench in that huge comeback against Ross County last night. It must have felt great to be involved in that and a couple of the goals as well. Yeah, um felt great actually. It was um obviously we didn't have the best of starts in the game. I thought we played well throughout the game to be fair. Just ended up behind through just a couple of good goals from them. So but we've always like our squads got a strong mentality and I think that's what got us back into the game, just the drive from the team to like we don't uh, give up. It's it's good to see that that we still have even this early in the season. Like it's just starting up, and we've got that like willpower to push our way through the game towards the end. It was um, quite unlucky to not get the penalties, which I actually missed one. But uh, it was a good feeling. Like to see the goals that we scored were great, and good to see. Um, just basically, like, our fitness levels were strong as well, I thought, towards the end of the game. They're a top-flight side. To hold our own against them was, like, impressive for us. Definitely, and we know that two years ago in the 2018-19 season, you scored 12 goals in 33 league appearances. There's clearly options at the moment from Matros in terms of strikers, and we know how tough this league can be, but presumably you'll be, you'll be hoping to get stuck in again amongst the goals uh, this season. Uh, yeah, I think that over the time I've been at Montrose, I think the goals are have always been sort of spread out through the team. I don't think we've like our strikers are like we don't have a team where the striker scores all the goals. We've got a lot of players that run from midfield. Our fullbacks always get forward, and we score a lot of goals from set pieces. Well, that's how it's been in the last two years that I was at the club. Um, so. Obviously, picking up goals is important, but I think that it will be spread across the team again. So, I think just scoring goals for the team, like for the team to score a lot of goals this season is more important. Um, obviously, I would love to score a lot of goals myself, but we'll just have to see how it pans out. But I can see uh, we've got so many players in the team that can score goals. So, got a and Angus Darby to look forward to on Saturday uh, with Montrose facing our growth. A tough game, but off the back of the, the Ross County comeback, you know, is confidence high amongst the squad going into that game? Yeah, it will, definitely. It was uh, upbeat after the game. Um, but we always, our, our, our growth games are always like really high intense. About the fans, we'll see, but I'm sure it will be. Um, we've played them so many times over the last two years and they're a really strong team and they're the sort of team that we want to strive to get to the... I would say that they are the highest part-time team in the country and I think as a club and players, we all want to achieve what they're doing at the moment. So it'll be a hard game for us to win because they always play well there. Um, they're a really hard team to beat. They're well organised. And they've got some, like, their attacking threats are brilliant. So, But we'll definitely go there and be expecting to do well and take something from the game, I would say. Yeah, we've got the Arbroath game and then after that game on Saturday, we're back at Lynx Park on Tuesday night against Elgin. And we can't not speak about what happened last time uh, Elgin visited Montrose and you assisted Jamie Redmond's goal that in turn won us the league. I really want to hear from you 
what you remember from that moment and uh, how you know your feelings when that ball hit the back of the net. Um, I can always remember we we went one 0 down at half time in that game, and I think that year we were kind of like that. We were a wee bit we always used to kind of make the games hard for ourselves. We were, we weren't winning by two or three goals in, the, in that year. We were winning games by being really good defensively and we'd won one, two nil maybe. And sometimes we'd run away with a game if a team sort of like lost hope in a game, but our defensive record was so good that year. We went one nil down at half time and I can just remember the change room. It was emotional, if, like it was, that's what I would say, like the, how people were feeling at the time. So. The second, obviously, we, that's how much it meant to everyone. And then the goal was more of a relief um, to score. Uh, we had a long time still in the game to score, but I thought because once we got that one goal, we really would struggle to get back, I think. And then we, that's how it ended up. We just controlled the game after that. But that goal was the fans, or, or the most fans I've seen at Blinks Park, I think. And... Obviously, for us to win the league was it was unbelievable. Like, um, I can't remember the goal that much to be honest. I've watched it loads of times, but I can't even remember it how I, what I was doing or anything. Like, but it was some feeling. Especially, I'd only been I sort of joined halfway through that season, so it was good to be a part of the final day because I felt like I earned a sort of medal in that game because I had only been there for six months when a lot of the boys had been there for a long time, even when they were in like at the bottom end of League Two, three, four years ago against Brora. So to be there and actually help the team, was I, personally, it was a great feeling for winning a medal. Yeah, it's great stuff, Martin. Well, listen, thanks very much for your time and all the best for the coming season. Thank you.